What's up everyone? This is your boy Saksham. So in this video, we have Pragya Mittal with us, who is currently doing her Masters in Computer Science from Texas A&M. So, shuru karte video. So, let's start with the quick intro. Can you please tell me about yourself? Where are you from? What are you studying? Hi, I'm Pragya, and I'm studying Masters in Computer Science from Texas A&M, and I'm from Delhi, India. So, where have you done your bachelor's from? I've done my bachelor's from Maharaja Surajmal Institute of Technology, Delhi. uh it's a state college right in delhi yeah yeah what was your gre oh, ielts so or I, toefl score i elts score was 7 and i didn't give gre so was it waived at that time it was optional yeah if they have some like a uh, decent score so should they give it or not mm, they can try because if it's optional then it doesn't really matter how was your profile my profile was i feel average so i have i have had two research papers and i want two hackathons uh three internships which were virtual apart from that uh 9 plus gpa that works so do you have any backlogs as well no 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 backlogs no. okay so why you decided to do a masters when i did internship i felt like i am lacking something so to build up that part i chose to do masters because i felt like there is something there is some information there is some experience in between from corp life and the as a student so that's why i decided to do masters here so was have you felt any differences in mass uh, bachelors in india and masters in us uh yes there is more practical knowledge here i feel because in india it was more about exams and here it more it is more about projects oh that's awesome so yeah. so every coursework has a project you have to do project yes. in every coursework yes uh, except theory courses oh. for example theory of computation yeah yeah in that we have to do research papers we okay. have to yeah so what all subjects have you taken this semester so i have computer animation machine learning and theory of computation oh that's amazing at the time of applications what colleges do you apply for uh, i don't really remember much but i applied to stevens buffalo university nyu um and texas a&m arlington for the safer side and southern california oh that's amazing all have gre waived off or at that time no uh, some of them have the thing to you know submit the gre uh, i remember arlington and and i guess stevens also have that uh, which universities did you get admit from i got admit from stevens arlington buffalo and texas a&m Oh, that's nice. So, why Texas A M A N M? Oh, because uh, there is one famous thing that uh, there are Aggies. So every Texas, so every person studying in Texas A N M are called Aggies. They are a part of Aggie. So it's. I feel I was excited about it, and they also offer like uh, when you graduate from here, you can uh buy a ring. So there is a special Aggie ring, which you can get, and it is of gold. So I was quite excited about that, and the education is exceptional, of course. Oh, that's amazing! So yeah. they give a gold ring at the time of graduation. Yeah, you have to pay for that. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what initial research you did before considering Texas A and M? So, first about the universities I researched, then about the courses that I'm interested in, and then the professors, uh, which which would help me to research to do the research because I am a thesis student. So, I think probably that was the one of the biggest factors. Oh, so Texas A and M. we have two tracks thesis yes, and non thesis thesis and non thesis so what is the difference between two path uh, so in thesis you have to do a research paper compulsorily and in non thesis it's your choice if you want to do you do you don't want to do you do. so in which tracks of funding opportunities more 
thesis. Yeah. So you mail professors about the thesis that you want to do thesis with them, or it's just like on the time of application you get the response oh, that I you get the option. Yeah. On Sorry. the application time, I get the option to do to select thesis or not. Uh, I can convert myself from thesis to non-thesis. So uh, till February, we are having uh, our curriculum that we have to submit that what all do we do uh, we need to do like all the subjects that we are interested in and if we got the professor for thesis or not if we don't get the professor we can convert ourselves from thesis to non-thesis there is option of that also so if i don't get the professor i will mm -hmm. so at the time of the admit do you get any scholarship as well Yes, I got the scholarship of $1,000. In Texas, it means that you are in a Texas state fees and not the international fees thing. So basically, uh, you get $1,000 as a scholarship, which means that you have to pay the in-state fees and not as an international student fees. So basically, it's a 50% waiver. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So what is the tuition fee of each semester if you are like, we didn't get a waiver? It's, I don't really remember. It's fifteen fifteen thousand dollars Per semester, tuition fees. Yes. Oh, got you. So what is the recommended timeline for applying to Texas A&M? It's so, like as early as possible. There is no timeline. As soon as you see applications are open, just apply for so I was pretty late. I applied at the last day, but still it's advisable to apply as soon as possible. If we apply early, is there any chances of getting scholarships? Uh, for me, it was random. There was nothing that you apply late or early for the scholarships. I don't think so. It matters. So as I, I have heard that uh, for getting scholarships, you have to apply early. So that's why I've asked I have applied at the last day mm -hmm. of the registration. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't think so. It's true. What are the assistantship options in your university? Like teaching assistant, research assistant? There is teaching assistantship, research assistant. And also there are uh, graders. So basically what graders do is that they check the papers and do grading according to the answers given and also update the port portal with the scores and ta also like ta work is also to check and the other thing is that they have to teach in the class also also they are available for the doubts that you have again research assistantship is that you do some research work under the professor at the time of applications, what were the applications requirement that one must submit before applying to Texas A&M? Transcripts, SOP, recommendations, three recommendation letters, and what else? IL score, if you have given GRE, then GRE score. So how important are these recommendation letters in getting an admit? It is as important as your SOP. <laughs> okay, so how important is SOP writing? It's like, it's like main part of everything. Your SOP will decide your admission. I so, particularly feel that. So what all things we must mention in the SOP? So I feel SOP should be your storytelling. You should be great at it. And you should know how to connect your experiences, your internships, and how to, you know, tell that uh, how you failed a thing and how you came out from that how you participated in hackathon and what effects did it brought in your life and how you you know did a lot of things you have to just connect the dots it's not just like a resume it's no. a, it's more than that how was your visa interview and what all questions did they ask okay visa interview was awesome <laughs> It was pretty easy for me. So they asked me that where am I going? What is my favorite subject in my bachelor's? And what my parents do? And they approved my visa. Oh, so, so they didn't check your documents at all? 
They just took my I twenty, and that's all. Oh, that's amazing. And any advice on handling the visa interview smoothly? So, any advice would you like to give? Uh, just stay confident and be real, whatever it is. Just say it. Don't be like um. Mm, uh, just don't pause. Pause at all. Just say it, whatever it is. And they usually check the confidence. How you speak because that really matters. You will say it if you are confident. confident. Yeah. And you should know what what are you doing? Why are you going? Mm-hmm. Because why is one of the most important question that one can ask. So after acceptance from the university, what all steps you have to take? So after getting acceptance, we have to submit our financial documents. And after that, they will give you I twenty. Then the visa process. After that, you have to after your uh, visa process, you have the registrations. Since I I haven't completed my bachelor's at that time when I got the acceptance, so I have to submit my documents again to remove the hold from the thumb. That was it. Registration of classes. Yes. Okay. So after. So you have- yeah. So you have to choose the courses that you are interested in. That there was some uh fifteen days period, and they gave the time to choose it. So what all preparations and arrangement you did before coming to the United States? <laughs> okay, so Texas is not that cold, so I didn't brought the winter's clothes. Of course, as a girl, we always start from clothes. Then Mm -hmm. after that, I did all the documents preparation that was needed. Uh, My DS-160 copy and I-20 passport copies and everything that was needed. Then I came to kitchen. All the kitchen stuff that we need. Also, I took some ready-to-eat stuff from Haldiram, which was really helpful. Mm -hmm. Baggies at the beginning days. Then... I think that's it. How's the temperature weather around Texas A and M? Uh, when I came, it was really hot. Right now, it's unpredictable. Sometimes it's really cold. Sometimes it's really sunny. Sometimes it's raining out of nowhere. So, yeah, it's unpredictable. Yeah, mm-hmm. in my state, like yesterday night, it was zero degrees Celsius. Oh, <laughs> but without snow. Okay. <laughs> what is the difference in applying for jobs in India and in US? In India, it was campus recruitment. Uh, there were the companies which used to come to the, you know, to the college and then we used to give the test and everything happens. But here, uh, there is one career fair for fall one career fair for spring and I feel the uh, chances of getting getting a job from that is quite low uh, from the from the thing that we used to do in India mm-hmm. uh, and then of course we have to apply to LinkedIn and there are indeed there is a website from where you can apply so just apply strategically so one should start early to get an internship yes start applying early yes and also you can ask for referrals and oh. i feel linkedin is the best place to ask for it. how are the teaching assistants get selected in texas so, A&M? one of the ways to just email the professors under whom you want to get the other way is that university gives a form for the ta's and graders so you have to fill your options under under which professor you want to do that. There are around 10, 10 opportunities like that. So after every semester, you will get that form and you can fill about 10 professors under whom you are interested. And if they choose you, then you get the TA. Do the grade matters in getting a TA? Not really. You have to be just three CGPA plus. Oh. For everything, I feel you have to be three plus. That's amazing. Uh, so RA also is in the hand of professor, but he will, if you are a master's with thesis track, he will select the inter, select the RAs beforehand. Uh, no, 
how will they get to know that you have thesis now if you are not really approaching them you have to approach professors that you are a thesis student and you are interested in doing research under them after that uh, so i recently did that so uh, after that they if they are also interested that yeah you can do it then they will take a interview of you providing you three or four research papers to read and based on that they will take the interview of yours and after that they will decide that if that you are compatible to work with them or not uh, what is your process is it different my process is also like similar for ra mm -hmm. for ra you have to mail professors if they like your research and knowledge they will select you so and, there is no interview uh, no interview they can give you some tasks like implement this or implement that there is no such interview as such i've seen that's great and for tas you have uh, the department select uh, based on the grades so um, yeah. so after coming to united states how you manage to have food uh, initial days are difficult so how you manage to get food and everything so in the stuff for the starting days i was having maggi and yeah. some uh, ready to eat stuff so basically you have to add add hot water in it and you and it just get ready after that my roommates also came so we went to the heb and walmart to get the stuff and then and then we just started to get sort over here mm -hmm. and apart from that you can have some free food if you are active in university so you can find some stuff like it's it's almost three or four times in a week that you can get some free food oh there. that's amazing so i just call my mother whenever i want to make some food mm -hmm. right now i am an expert at it so, <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't knew I didn't knew anything how to cook and everything. So mm -hmm. my roommate teaches me how to cook, and now I'm like I can say I am tending to perfection. Oh, Still. that's nice. I think with this we have all the questions covered. Thank you, Pragya, for coming, yeah, and have a great day. Same to you. Have a good day. बाय तो वीडियो अच्छी लगी तो लाइक कर देना बहुत ही कुछ ज्यादा अच्छी लगी हो सब्सक्राइब कर देना मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में पीस